All right. In this story, May is six and Abel is ten. All right. I taught May a few shepherding skills over the years. We practiced rock slinging and other staff defensive maneuvers together. She soaked it up like a woolen towel. She impressed and amazed me with her skills, whether they were healer skills or shepherding skills. We also had some deep spiritual discussions and I was impressed by her insight and her questions. She was more than just my little protege assistant or pasture sidekick from the time she was four. She was my little sister and I loved her dearly. She became one of my best friends. As we sat down to enjoy a meal or a drink in the pasture, I would get in the habit of taking her hand and looking upwards to thank Father God for giving us the food and the water. One afternoon, when she was about six, she asked me about the pre-meal prayer. Bubba, I've noticed that at our family gatherings, only the men pray out loud. Am I not allowed to pray because I'm a girl? Or will Father God not hear me because I'm a girl? Does he only let men talk to him? Why doesn't mom pray? Unless dad isn't around. That's the only time I ever see her pray. Is Father God still angry with her because she ate that forbidden fruit first? If so, why is he mad at Kali, Melanie, or me because of that? We weren't even born yet. What's the deal? Huh. Huh. All I could do in that moment was blink. Mostly because her questions tended to hit me all at once. I never really thought about some of that. I mean, I thought Mom just didn't want to pray when Dad was around. I guess I'm just so used to praying that it didn't occur to me that someone else with me might also want to talk to Father God. Talking to him just gives me such a feeling of complete freedom, peace, and joy. I mean, he's your father and loving creator too, and he calls you his daughter. So I took her left hand, raised my left hand, and gazed upwards. <laughs> After a few moments of silence, I glanced over at May, who leaned over and whispered to me, What am I supposed to say? I couldn't help but laugh as I said to her, it's all right, I'll help you. I looked upwards again. My loving Father God, it is a joy to be one of your children. Thank you that my little sister May here is interested in talking to you and seeking a friendship with you. I gave her hand an encouraging squeeze. She smiled at me and looked upwards. Thank you, Father God, for letting my big brother Abel look after me. He's all right with me calling him Bubba. So I hope it's all right with you if I call him Bubba. I love my Bubba. Thank you for giving me a nice Bubba like him. And thank you that he's teaching me how to talk to you, even though I'm nervous. But he loves you and tells me all kinds of good things about you. Even though I can't see you, I trust Bubba when he says that you're here with us. I have so many questions I want to ask you, but I'm getting hungry right now. So I'll just ask you one question right now. Why did you create mosquitoes? But thank you for everything else, including our food. Amen. <laughs> she turned to me afterwards to ask, How was that? <laughs> but I was doubled over and laughing aloud by then. <laughs> I'm sure I was tearing up a little during the early, earlier part of her prayer, since it was all sweet and about me. But the question about the mosquitoes made me stifle my laughter. <laughs> 
I just squeezed her hand and said, I liked hearing you pray, and I think Father God enjoyed your honesty and your thankful heart. We took a few bites of our lunch, which were probably some flat bread and pieces of fruit. May looked up at me. Thank you for teaching me how to pray, Bubba. I know I would have been very nervous if anyone else was around other than you. Sure, I nodded. And you don't have to wait until right before we eat before you pray. If you find some healing herb and get very happy, or if Father God saves you from some seen or unseen predator, you can thank him anytime you want. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> she lit up. She looked up with a big smile. Thank you, Father God. I didn't know I could do that. Bubba tells me all kinds of good things about you. He's right. Talking to you is total freedom. Well, the only way I would feel freer is if we were all naked and barefoot, like Mom and Dad when they were in Eden. But this is close enough. I chuckled again, adding, <laughs> Amen, sister. <laughs> After a few more bites, I said, Oh, and you let me know what Father God says to you about the mosquitoes. I've always wondered about them, too. We both shared a laugh. 